Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the comp video. Let's talk about Nintendo's NX console, shall we? Chances are very good that you've heard the rumours right now that the system will be a handheld console hybrid. Basically, that means that it functions as a handheld, but if you choose to, you can dock it into, well, a dock, and play on your television more like a traditional console, and it's going to be powered by NVIDIA's Tegra architecture. Now, there are a lot of questions to the specifications of the system, the performance of the system, and how the dock actually works, but those are the basic too long didn't read facts. You can check out yesterday's video if you want more information. However, another rumor has surfaced. This one tells us that the NX will be a handheld console hybrid and will be compatible with Nintendo's own smartphone games. Now this rumor comes to us from the Wall Street Journal from the writer, and I'm probably gonna pronounce the chap's name wrong, Takashi Mochizuki. Now, what's rather interesting is that uh, Takashi actually retweeted a couple of people on Twitter and said, and I quote, Oh, you caught it. Now, you might say to yourself, well, how would that be possible? Ultimately, Nintendo are putting out a lot of games right now, which are obviously based upon the mobile market, and ultimately that means Android. A while back... It did not exactly fly under the radar that you might have heard of the Kronos Group, who are, of course, responsible for the administration and the update, the upkeep, if you will, of Vulcan, which is the successor to OpenGL. And Nintendo actually were now supporting the new API. Well, we don't exactly know what their hand in it is, and everyone immediately, when they started to play out smartphone games, said, oh, well, that's why they're doing it then, because they want to start pushing towards this new uh, appy. But, it could actually serve dual purposes here. It could allow easy ports between the two systems. Specifically, in theory, if you develop a game which is Vulcan, it doesn't require anywhere near as much work, especially if, and obviously we don't know exactly what the console, in this case the NX, is going to use as an operating system, but if it does use a derivative of Linux, or in this case Android, it's possible that with some minor tweaking, especially if, once again, the... Um, NX is more powerful, which we can assume, than the average mobile device, that we could start seeing quite an awful lot of games from the mobile division appear on the NX, which would be absolutely phenomenal, and could presumably mean that we start seeing a lot of integration when we start talking about apps like Pokemon Go, when we start talking about, let's say, if you buy a game, carrying on your progress on, let's say, your Android device or across your um, regular hybrid console NX. It's quite an interesting theory and does, report, and does support the idea of a larger Nintendo ecosystem, which is kind of exciting. How all of this is going to function together and whether we're even going to get this level of integration or whether Nintendo are just going to offer it for some few select titles or whether potentially they're going to want let's say for the lower end games perhaps NES classics that type of thing to appear on Android and then they do that as like a backwards way of introducing uh, backwards compatibility we don't know but it's kind of cool and honestly I'm I'm happy for that idea it does, like pretty much all of the Nintendo NX uh, information we have at the moment, it raises a lot more questions than what it does provide us answers. I don't want to say that I'm excited about the NX because we know so little about it. It's like with the PlayStation 4, we didn't know much about the system, but I could say that I was excited based upon the information about the potential performance of the machine and we knew that it was going to essentially be an evolution of the PS3 so we knew that there was some merit to what to be excited about you know we could immediately start anticipating the likes of Uncharted this is 
imagine yourself back in 2012, back in 2013, and the rumours were flying around about the PS4, and we could imagine games like the Uncharted, we could imagine the games like the Kill Zones or Gears of War if you're an Xbox fan or whatever, and you could start just imagining them with better graphics, but with the NX, we can't do that, because it's like handheld console, what is that? Is it, like, no difference in graphics if it's in handheld mode? Do the clocks become slower? For example, and I'm just pulling it out of my butt here, but does the CPU slash GPU slash RAM slash whatever run 75% speed if it's in handheld mode? So we get pe presumably lower graphics, which means because of the obviously the lower screen resolution than presumably your HD TV to save power. Or does it operate the same? You know, there's a whole bunch of questions. Does the docking station have additional processing power in it, potentially? We don't know. So there's so many different questions. I'm excited about the possibilities rather than the machine itself, which is a subtle difference, I grant you. However, the idea here that we could have compatibility with its own smartphone games, that's actually quite cool. And also makes an awful lot of sense when we start thinking about games like Mitomo when you start thinking to yourself, well, it is a social experience. I mean, for God's sake, their own website, the brief synopsis is, and I quote, Mitomo is a smart device app that sparks one-of-a-kind conversations between you and your friends. It's from Nintendo. So I think that's a good indication that they want that to be a thing, and obviously one of the ways to popularise it is the potential for your, let's say, your Android buddies or your or your iOS buddies to be able to message you if you're at home on the app and it's that level of uh, social integration which could be kind of cool it has a lot of potential unfortunately once again I know I sound like a broken record here there is just not enough information for us to make any um, real educated guesses of how it's eventually all going to tie together and work well hopefully you've enjoyed the video I'll see you soon take care bye for now